Hello and welcome to this video where we will provide some answers to the question why should a company think about design for repair? Companies should always first consider the business model before they think about a technical design change. This applies to the case of design for repair as well. We look at three points when answering the question as to why companies should design a product for repair. First of all, you can derive revenues by providing a repair service to your customers, like in this repair shop behind me. The faster the service here is done, the lower are the costs. Behind some sectors like car repair for customers, professional services are more common for business to business models. Equipment used for business, such as printers or forklifts, have high hour usage and therefore the companies are willing to invest more for a reliable service. As a design company, your design for repair strategy will lead to a saving in service time and ensures satisfied customers. Business to customer models have a higher dependence on reliable returns of the products to the factory. Here again, the design approach can lead to the benefits from reduced time in repair operations and the related productivity per employee. The second point, how a company can benefit from a design for repair strategy is by the sales of spare parts. This may seem an obvious advantage, but when connected with the third point, it gives a real competitive advantage. This third reason is to provide market distinction by the products being easy to repair by the customers themselves. Because of the rapid growth in customers' self-repair, this can be a significant driver in the purchase decision process. So this last reason is more driven by B2C models and builds the connection to the aspect of customers' demand for a design for repair. We will have a more detailed look to, at this topic later at this week. Let's assume your company has decided the design of the products for ease of repair. Which design decisions are now important? First of all, the product should be easy to open. That means ease of access to all components which might easily be damaged with the least amount of effort possible. For an easy access, ideal solutions include simple designs where no tools are needed using clips, push and slide solutions. Screws are good, but keep it simple. Use as few joining elements as possible and all of the same type and size. Avoid glues, bonding agents and welds, and especially for joining the parts of the outer case. Use standard parts and standard lubricants. Keep in mind that during the maintenance, no critical security condition should appear. Now assuming that the product is easy to open, we should consider the functional parts of the product and bring them together into modules. When you think about the business model, where you deliver a repair service to your customers, the service time and the costs will decrease due to a quick and easy change of failed or damaged modules. A modular design even makes upgrades easier to facilitate. The failed module could be repaired, remanufactured or, if beyond economical or technical recovery, it should be recycled. Please keep in mind that design for recycling with considerations makes the design for repair approach feasibly in a circular economy. In the following examples, we look at two very interesting and progressive ideas where companies carefully consider the functionality of the products and therefore benefit from a design which is made for repair. 
and the first example, a B2B repair service is provided for coffee machines by 3Temp and will be presented by our colleague Anna Kawi. Behind the concept of easily repaired machines, please observe the design, which is made to be opened easily with access to all functional parts and modular with a replaceable bearing unit. As an example of a B2C model, David visited the Homey company, which offers washing machines to customers, including a full repair service. Homey therefore benefits from machines which are easy to repair. 